Hey everyone, Tragic MTG here with an interesting one for you here today. Right now I've got a box to open up uh, from Goodwill of, uh, I believe, Silicon Valley. Uh, but here's the interesting thing. This is not my box. This is not owned by me. This is owned by a viewer that goes by the name of TJ. And he had a couple too many beers one night and he went on Shop Goodwill and he ended up buying three lots of Magic the Gathering cards. And for some reason he thought you know what? I want to send these to Tragic. I want him to open these up and do what he does and do the scanning thing and check them out and uh, see what we come up with. So we worked it out. Um, to I'm going to open up these bo this box. There's actually three lots in here and we're going to see what TJ ended up getting. Um, now, um, to make it so that um, there's no question, oops, not this one, this one, um, I wanted to set up a second camera <laughs> so that when I open this box, it's always going to be on camera. So there's no question about me taking cards out or putting cards in or doing any kind of shenanigans. This is all for TJ. We're just having fun. We're going to see what he got here. And uh, then I'm going to send him what he wants out of it. Basically, we've worked out a deal. Um, in this, you're going to see there are some interesting, like, legends, commons. Uh, hopefully something better than that, in fact. Um, he wants all that. There's a couple of some things from the dark. He wants, uh, we're going we're gonna to scan on the buy list. He said that I, Tragic, could keep anything under a dollar buy list. I said, nope, that's no good. I actually want to go all the way down to 50 cents. I will keep anything under 50 cents buy list. I'm going to send him the rest. Um, so, just for fun. Um, I get a little bit out of it. I get I make a video. Sure, why not? And he gets to keep what he bought. So it's just kind of one of those things. We're really hoping we can get TJ something good here. So let's let's do that. First off, let's check out. Oops. Yeah, here we go. Here's the lots that TJ bought from Goodwill of Silicon Valley. Um, this first one here. Um, in, in fact, it said unsorted white magic cards collection lot. Um, they didn't say much about them. They just kind of lay them out here. Uh, let's see. The first picture was a stack. Whoops. And they stacked them all out. You got a spectral procession right there. Not a bad card. And then here you see a bunch of legends uh, comments, which are always interesting. He wants all of those. I don't blame him. He's going to get them. Um, I'm going to look through and hopefully we're going to find something better than just commons. But they're just, they're cool just to even have. Um, there's some more and we're getting into other additions here which it, it kind of looks like it's mostly going to be commons but we're really really hoping that there's going to be something a little more interesting so that's what this one is here uh, the next one up is I think more kind of the same this one is uh, green cards um, for it <laughs> goodwill called them forest cards so hopefully the goodwill of Silicon Valley doesn't really know what they're doing that's what we're always hoping uh, again, it kind of just looks like commons. It's fine. We're going to do a bulk sift here. There's a muscle sliver. That's not bad. Um, it's better than nothing. Um, going all the way up to here to gate crash. So it's just, it's green. Someone sorted green at one point, and here they are. So um, we're hoping for something better than just bulk commons. There are some, uh, some Legends cards in this as well. Yep, here you go. Moss Monster, I think. Glyphs. Uh, again, commons, but maybe they left something behind. TJ's really hoping for a Eureka. I am too. Uh, and then the last lot here, um, a little more um, kind of newer stuff, but I think this this one had some rares in it. Uh, let's see if we can pick them out real quick. Um, is that a Rakdos? Lord of Riots? There's nothing wrong with that. And then this one here was an, an attention grabber. There's a Beta Island. Um, so is that bait on the top for TJ here? Uh, who knows it doesn't look like there's much more beta but maybe maybe we're always hopeful right so and there's some foils on this so we're gonna go through this all um, that's what it is let's go back to the scan setup again here's the box I'm gonna open it we're gonna pull it out I, th there's, I think there's there's three different sets here um, another snafu is that my uh, computer cannot handle having one more thing plugged into it. I'm, I've got this extra camera 
and it can't handle having my scanner plugged in at the same time. It's the USB ports are just crashing. So we're gonna we're gonna take it all out. We're gonna look at it and sort through it for anything that's good. We're gonna set it aside, all making sure that there's a chain of custody here. And then at the end, I'll scan it all up and we'll see how he did. I think all told, he paid about two hundred forty dollars with some shipping um, for this. So here we go. Good luck, TJ. Here is a nice. Whoops, sorry. The Oath or Battle um, gift box, and it's full of cards. So we're gonna set this over here right now. It's on camera there. We pull out all this packing and throw it at Packbot. He knows what to do with that stuff. Here's another makeshift box inside of this box wow okay so they looks like they bundled that's it There's just packing left I'm wrecking my desk in the process that's it empty box now okay so this is all we've got we've got to uh, kind of put these so that they're both on camera and we're going to start going through them um again good luck so which one should we do first i'm thinking this is, must be the legend stuff. This was the one that had a Rakdos and a Beta Island showing maybe. So let's go through this one first. Let's see what we got. Whoop, whoop. Hey, there's a Supreme Verdict. Well, that's off to a good start right off the bat. So. Brood Sliver, and it's in, whoop, well it was in Light Play, yeah it still is, eh, I think probably argue that that's a little worse than Light Play, but there it is, oh there's Rakdos, so this actually, hmm, I assumed that the box with the, uh, the holiday box was going to have the stuff we saw in that first, I'm sorry, that third lot. Here's Rakdos. Um, okay, so they, they kind of re reboxed all of this stuff up. Here's a boil. Uh, that's a decent card. We'll pull that. And here's that Beta Island. Times two. Very nice. So, <clears throat> wow, these are in really good condition. So, I mean, just off the top of my head, they're probably like eight, ten bucks. Just, just like this, maybe more at this point, because they're definitely desirable. Um, they feel real. I don't know if there's that big of a counterfeit market for Beta Islands, but there they are. That's cool. You don't see them too often. And you got two different arts there. So that's a score in my book. I'm sorry, in TJ's book. <laughs> He's going to get those since they're his. There they go. We're going to scan those up later and we'll see what the full story is on that. Okay, here, oh, wow. I mean, okay. If you're gonna leave behind some old stuff, let's let it be Arabian Nights. Wow, Sandstorm. So that's that's cool. Um, gosh, I'm gonna get my phone at least look, because I'm, now I'm super curious. Is that a, is it a common or an uncommon? I can't even remember. I, I don't run across too much Arabian Nights, to be honest. So let's just scan it. Here we go. As a common, I don't know if you can see that. There you go. Sandstorm is $3.99. So that's that's great. I mean, this be very happy to have Arabian Nights commons, Legends commons for exactly that reason. So we'll get those their own special little spot. So we hope to see a lot more of that kind of stuff. Snag. This has an alternate casting cost. See, now I got to do it the hard way here. Um, you know what? Okay, so um, I'll show you. This is my, people always ask me, how do you hold your phone? This is what I use. It's just, I got this on Amazon. I will link it below at some point. And it's got a clamp. I clamp it to 
my desk like this. You can see my belly right here. It's a big substantial thing. And now I'm scanning. So a snag is 25 cents. I'm just gonna double check. What am I even set on? I'm on the marketplace mid right now. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna scan these all up later as uh, um, buy list pricing and and go off of that. So all right, this will only take another year at this rate. So here's some legends commons rust, good condition. Yeah, these got pulled out of packs and put into a pile it's, and never really played, so that's that's fine. So hopefully there's more. Commons Peace, Howling Gale, Commons Commons. There's a Cocoon? Hmm, is this an Uncommon? It's an Uncommon, so there's not just, I know you can't see that, it's 87 cents. Not just Commons. There you go, there's another one. We're gonna scan those up later and see how he did. Here we go, some legends again. Emerald Dragonfly, again just commons. Barbary Apes, Wolverine Pack. Is that a common? It is a common. Come on, something better than a common. Well, there they are. Flip more legends. Deadfall. Creatures of Forest Walk may be blocked as if they did not have this ability. It's an uncommon. And it's not giving me, it. there we go, 98 cents for some deadfalls. Floral Spoozum. It's an uncommon, it's over two bucks. All right. Glyph of Reincarnation or Commons, Moss Monsters or Commons. They're all in good condition. Someone opened a lot of Legends to get this stuff. Boy, all the good stuff they got out of there. Uncommon Pradesh Gypsies. There's three of them there. Hey, here we go. More Legends. There's there's a lot here. That's good. A Shilkin Brownie. Common. Rabid Wombat, another common probably. Uncommon actually, a couple, two, three bucks. Rajon Spirit, is this a rare? Oh, it's an uncommon. It's quite possible that there aren't any rare legends in there. Avoid Fate, now there's a, there's a good pickable one. I think it is a common. But it's one of the better ones. It's four bucks. So let's see here. Two, three, four, five, six avoid fates right there. There's 24 bucks. Hornet Cobra, common. Cat Warriors, common. The Leprechaun again, okay. Rancors, definitely worth pulling. Nope. Okay, I see some white uh, legends here. Great. So we're into that now. Enchanted being. Common. It looks enchanted, all right. Again, good condition on these commons. 
Uh, indestructible Aura, another common. Equinox, actually. Not bad for a common. It's a buck, over a buck. And you got a bunch of those. Ivory Guardians. Uncommon, that's a buck. Holy Day. Okay. Come on, where's the really good stuff here? And that was it, huh? I think there's there must be more. Hey, well there's a good one. Just one? Enlightened Tutor. Wow. Okay, there's a good uncommon to leave behind. I, the way these are picked, I'm surprised that this got left behind. Perfect condition. That's great. So, wow, that one's that one's that was really nice. That's definitely our, our best find currently at this point. So, uh, we'll scan that up and see. It said it's 26 bucks at full market value. Collected company, oh boy. That's a decent one to get left behind. Thirteen bucks on that one, so we're gonna that's our our good step pile right there. Some of this improved Hydra Broodmaster. It's Kithion, oh look at this. Hero of Akros on one side, Gideon Battleforge on the other. Is he worth a little bit? Four bucks. Not too shabby. I'm gonna put him right there. Okay, Heaven's Gate. There's more than one, so you can just assume it's probably a common or an uncommon. Yeah, dang it. It just sounds so important, right? What does it do? It changes the color of one or more target creatures to white until end of turn. You choose which and how many creatures are affected, one or more, right? Okay. Cost to tap, maintain, or use a special ability of target creatures remain entirely unchanged. So, any number of target creatures turn white. Ah, <sighs> well, it's still a cool card because you just don't see it. There's the Amru Kithkin, another common. Um, probably pretty sure it's not a whole lot. There's a bunch of them right here. Potions again. Um. More of that. A four fifty for a foil reflect deflecting palm. Oh, we got a god. We got a god here. Flame Rush Rider and a Mogis. God of Slaughter. Seven bucks. That's a pickable winner right there. We're going to put him there. Come on. More of that. Case of Koilos. Not bad. Hey, there's a good one. Dictate of Erebos. Yeah. Almost 10 bucks on that, so...
I gotta say at this point, going through all of this stuff, the thing that felt the most out of place here was those two beta islands. Um, they were completely out of the blue. It doesn't really feel like any part of this, so I'd have to say those were probably staged by the goodwill of Sacramento. That's my opinion. That's my opinion. So here's some stuff from the dark, morale and holy light. We had seen those before. Take that for our forest. Hangerback walker, there we go. So this will be um, one that goes over here to show off, okay? It says it's six bucks right now. Tusk Fortress. Oh, hey, hey, that's something. I got an, we got another god. Erebos, god of the dead. Uh, that's a good one. Yep, ten bucks. Crux of Fate. Ooh, an Urborg. Uh, let me just scan this. I don't know if it's... Yeah, it's a buck. Urborg, Tomb of Yogmoth. Wow, 17 bucks. Okay, so that's that's a good one right there. This is it. That's the last of it out of the box. Come on, let's get some one more good thing out of here. Sarah Aviary, sure. There's a a rare from Homelands that might be one of the better rares. It's 99 cents. There it is. Battle Screech, okay, just like I was asking about earlier. Three bucks. Mirage, come on, where's another tutor? Give us the tutor, Mangar's Blessing. Is that a rare? Not a rare. Alarum? Not a rare. Come on, the tutor. Shadowbane, Sacred Mesa, I think, is a rare. It is, it's 50 cents. No tutor, come on. <laughs> it looks like that's it. That is, that's the stack right there. So uh, I've been doing this for almost two hours. <laughs> uh, now that it's all been recorded, I think I may actually take a break before I come back and actually scan all this. I'm not gonna scan these. These are going straight to TJ. I am going to scan all of this stuff here and these, and uh, we'll see how he did, and I'll be back here soon. Now, I'm not going to scan all of these legends, commons and uncommons. I'm going to give an estimate that this whole stack is at least a hundred bucks. If it was just pure commons, I'd say it's uh, it'd be about 50 bucks, but inside there were some some pretty good stuff like a void fate and Equinoxes and some dollar Commons that are gonna add up. I'd say right here. You got a good hundred bucks in legends and uh, the dark and uh, there was even uh, some Arabian Nights right there at the bottom, so um, That's that's a pretty good start and that's definitely like reason number one to to buy this lot um, was all of these commons um, from older sets. They're highly collectible and people like them and they will sell. Um, I think you're gonna do okay on that. So, we're gonna set those aside. I'm gonna put this all in a box to send to TJ. Um, these things we're gonna do at the end because we know they're gonna be good. I'm gonna actually kind of stack them like this for a grand finale, if you will. Um, I've got the scanner set up. I've unplugged the other camera so that it'll actually work. And uh, 
through our deal. I'm going to scan everything and it, it set it for buy list and anything under 50 cents buy list I'm going to end up keeping just like the essentially about 6,000 bull commons that I just went through or something like that. Yay. Um, so let's go. So I'm curious about these beta islands, which are in really, really good shape. Like they're almost packed fresh, so I don't even want to touch them. Let's scan them and see what it says. Sold items for beta island. That's played. These are nice. These are actually. I, Near mint light play. I, I would accept these as near mint. I'm sure you would get a little bit of pushback. There's some little bit of edging, but we're talking about you know a heavily played one going for 17 bucks here. Um, you know, Kid Icarus gets a good price on anything that he sells. 66 for four of them. 71 for the purple one here. The mint near mint uh, regular one here, thirty bucks. One sold for. So these are honestly your big winners right here. Twenty, thirty bucks each for these islands. That's that's gonna save your bacon right here, TJ. That's sixty bucks right there. Two beta islands. I'm I'm putting them back in the sleeve. I'm gonna be real careful with them too. Okay, two. Beta Islands, I'm, I'm thinking 50, 60 bucks right there. So, throw that on the top. I can't get it on the scanner. Here we go with the rest. Urborg, 10 bucks buy list price. Erebos, 661. Yeah, let's put it there. Hangaback Walker. 311 have come down a bit. Dictate of Erebos, 646. We're getting there. Mogis, 495. This Deflecting Palm promo version. Pre release card, a buck 56. Kithion, flip over to Gideon. 
Buck sixty one there. Collected company. Eight. Where can we put it right here? And enlightened tutor. Fifteen ninety six. Those are your buy list prices. So one twenty two seventy one for all of this. Add sixty bucks right here. Um, so 182 and then about a hundred bucks for your legends commons you're at 282 I'd say you at least broke even um, you didn't really smash the bank but luckily there was enough here to kind of uh, make it worth your while um, I, I hope you're happy um, it's it's pretty good for what looked like mostly common so um, I'll be sending these to you and anyone else watching I hope you had fun watching it um, it only took me forever to make this happen uh, I'm gonna go home good night